After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. The behaviors that can actually drive a person to a site cell may be somebody comes in the facility who is on drugs, who is highly combative, verbally disrespecting staff or other inmates, maybe this inciting other inmates to a fight, who isolate them, maybe they can cool down and maybe think about their behavior. Why are you yelling? What yeah, is going right. on? Oh, what's, oh, what's going on, man? Don't, don't why are you yelling, man? Sir, why are you yelling? Don't grab my hand. Sir, sir. I'm not talking to you here. You're really hurting my wrist. Okay. Whatever, I, I'll find out what's going on yeah, sometime, switch, dude. Switch, 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 switch. It's not good, obviously. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Walk for us. Why are you guys manhandling me? Walk. What? I'm walking, I'm walking. Where do you walk? Ah! What do you have to do? Ah! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. oh, what's going on? Something's not right. I'm sorry, I can't. We're going to leave you in here until you cool down. Okay. okay I'm Once you cool down, we take these handcuffs off. And Phil, you're not a threat to us, okay? Yes, sir. Stay there till the door closes. Yes, sir. Oh, no. No. We were out in the pre-arrest, and then we started screaming. We did talk to medical police. Oh. He said that he's possibly on meth or something. Something, okay. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. All right, thank you. Hey, ready to part. Oh, God, really? Yep. Uh, I'm sorry. You can just ask instead of forcing me. You can say, hey, do, do you anything. mind spreading your feet apart? And I would have done it instead of you having to physically force me to do it. What do you it. have in your mouth? Chewing tobacco, which is not allowed in a jail, but it's still in my mouth. So if you want to take it out, ma'am, I can't. Why can't you take it out yourself? Well, I could spit it around. Minnesota Department of Health, cover your cough. Uh, I grew up in Minnesota. So again, so I called in the Sultan by Here's my roommates. And here I am in change. Glasses. You good? Yeah, just so you, am I still spreading? Yes. So you got assaulted by your roommates? Yes, sir. What happened? So my roommate assaulted me. His name's Harry. He's uh, um, 75 years old. It's Turn a around, crack Harry. meth house. And uh, I got arrested, and I called the cops because I got assaulted, and they busted me for less than a half a gram of marijuana. Oh, yeah. You yeah, you don't have to grab me that hard, so you can just ask me where I need to walk. Less than a half an ounce of weed, and I called the cops and said my roommate was assaulting me. That's why I'm here. Have a seat. Sit down. Let's go. Look at how this guy's squeezing my hands. Do Turn what we around. tell you to do. I need to stop talking. Yes, I need to stop talking. You're gonna stay in here in these handcuffs until you show us that you can calm down. Guys, leave. Stay there. Door closes. Okay. Are you kidding me? Go yourselves. He was complaining to the arresting officer about what's going on. Let's let him cool down for a bit and come back and see how he's doing. Can you tell me a little bit about William, how he came in? Well, we were dispatched to his house, and uh, it was involving a family disturbance mm -hmm. between roommates, mm -hmm. a lot of drinking going on. He was making accusations that somebody pulled his hoodie. Mm -hmm. All the other three roommates said, no, nothing happened. It was just verbal. No one touched anyone. Okay. So that was the whole call, why it was called. He said somebody actually assaulted, battered him. He searched our room, so that's when we found his, oh, okay. uh, All right. his uh, paraphernalia and some little bit of marijuana. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate okay. it. All right, sir. I am talking to you. One more time. It's not going to be good. You Let's take him out and put him over here. We're obviously going to have to separate him. Come on out here, Dustin. Dustin, come on. Step out. 
step out into that. So you want to talk to him for a minute? Yeah. Come on, just hold on, hold on. Slow down. Slow down. The other gentleman had been disruptive. He already calmed down considerably. I'm going to take the handcuffs off you. Okay, you promise to settle down. Okay, and relax. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Stay there until the door closes. Okay, you okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's not going to happen unless you calm down. You handled me like I was a criminal. All right, when these cuffs come off, they're going to go up on the wall, OK? Yes, sir. Nowhere else. My hands will go to yes. my side if there's nowhere else. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. You, I saw you said when the cuffs went off, they'd go up to the wall. Yep. Which is what you said. You didn't now, say anything about my hands. William, listen. You understand that your charges are pretty much misdemeanor charges. You're going to be getting an OR, released on your own reconnaissance. Yeah, I probably should have gotten a ticket and allowed to go to the stratosphere, and I appreciate that. Yes, okay. sir. Let's try to get you out of the cell in a little bit more. This is stage two of your cool-down period, OK? If you start sir, acting... I am so, I am so cool. You, William, you guys arrested me for being here's cool. Here's the thing, William. You don't let people finish talking when I'm trying to talk to you. No, again, via con Dios, I am him. He is I. I already know what you're going to say. Thank you for the time. I you almost it. had it to the ticket. I was just going to let you go outside and make some phone calls. But you need to cool No, down. I want to go back to the house where they were doing drugs, and you guys arrested me from there when that guy assaulted me, and that's what's not fair. I told I'm you, come back and check I on told you, you on the 911 okay? call right. that I had a half Stay a gram of marijuana closes. on me. I told the 911 call. Stay there. Okay. Well, we could have the psych talk to him, see how he works out. Hopefully, we can get him out here. So, okay, thanks, sir. Good job, guys. So, Dustin was brought in earlier today for possession of a dangerous weapon. He was acting up, but let's see how he's doing now. Sit down for us. Sit down. Sure. Sit down. Sit down. You okay? Oh, what's going on, man? Well, I gotta make sure you're stable enough to let you out with everybody else. And the way you're acting right now, very emotional. I just Are don't you understand why, why the TV was shut off and then the phone. Because you're in a side cell. A side cell, just like that cell <laughs> over there, OK? And I was watching a freaking drama. The way you're acting, you can't come out with everybody else, OK? You want anything? Uh, I got high, like, a couple days ago, Are yeah. Is it still affecting you like this? No, I am the phone and to contact my family. Do you get high all the time? No, I do not. No? No. See, you just calm down for a second. You're going up and down. All right, as soon as you cool down, We'll give you the phone and give you everything else you're supposed to get, OK? Stay there. Don't move to the door closed. He's still acting a little bit out of control. He might be uh, under the influence of some things. So these guys don't understand. They came in here on simple charges, and they're just uh, delaying their process. So hopefully their process will get through. Yeah, we'll see. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for three years now. You know, you get to help people go through the jail process. It's not something that people get to do every day, so information is key. It takes away some of the uh, anxieties that they might have with being in here. Just relax. Why are you so upset right now? Because I don't trust cops. Because you what? I don't trust cops. You don't trust cops? Yep. OK. While you're in here, you know you don't have a choice. What are you in here for? Driving under the influence of alcohol. I'll tell you right now, if you cooperate, I'll try to help you out as much as possible, OK? Ah. A little better, right? See, we're not so bad, OK? You don't have handcuffs on now. OK. All right, let's go get you screened by medical, OK? And then you can go in the bathroom and wash up a little bit, because you got mascara everywhere. That's just one girl to another helping you out. That. All right, ma'am, go all the way down the end. I want medical to talk to you. Now, you don't know who you're dealing with. It's a happy-go-lucky woman, whatever, and stuff like that. And but she needs protection. Yeah. Hmm. She seemed like a nice lady too. She, she says DUI. Okay. So she was a little bit of a problem. Yes. Put a jacket. I was at Hacienda in Decatur, and I observed a uh, a suspicious vehicle uh, had some front end damage. Drive through the intersection. Made contact with the driver. I realized that she was intoxicated. Like and at that point, we started field sporting no, no tests and took her into custody. Of that. OK, thank you. Myra, go sit down. We're not here to get any dates. Yeah. Oh, All right, go we'll have a seat right there. Wait, do I look a little bit better? I'm not going to say that. Go ahead, right over there. Well, you go have me watch my face. Right there Myra, you Myra, you are not allowed to talk to any male inmate in here. You need to keep quiet. You're getting too much attention. If I remove you, you will be here longer than you need to be. Now, do you want to hang out here that long? Do you want to hang out with me that long? Or do you want to be home? 
I, I just don't see how it's a tough choice. I need some sleep. Ready? Have a seat. Yeah, get it. You're a big girl. You're a big girl. Let's act like one. It's like an alcohol-themed night tonight. I give her another five minutes. Have she's a problem child that needs uh, yeah, a hug or attention yeah, or whatever she else. She still is a bit of a problem child. Why up with him? Look where we started. All right, guys, shush! No, of course they will. This listen to me, okay? No. Listen to me. No. Listen to me. Okay. Don't get out of that chair again, okay? Okay. All right, this is your last time I'm going to tell you, okay? Okay. Sit back and be quiet. This is not a game. No. Okay? I, no. If you want it to be a game, I'll remove you from this room. Go ahead and stick you in the side cell, okay? This is my first time. Okay. I honestly don't know what the f is going on. Sit down. So please inform me. Just please sit down. Inform. Just sit until they call your name. We're done. She thinks she's cute, she thinks she's funny, and it's really irritating. It's disrupting my area, and where's she going? Ma'am, where are you going? This ain't your house. Go sit you down. Is the bathroom? No, I just said no, go sit down. When you sit down and raise your hand, we'll try it again. Oh. And have a seat. This is your girl. For the rest of the time she's in here, this is your girl. Miss, take your feet down off the chair. Do you see anyone else with their feet up on any chairs? Failing very badly. Listen, okay. go ahead and stand up. Stand up. Down here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Sit right here. Oh, of course, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Can I cross my legs? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Thank you. Why are you being such a smart ass? I'm not being the smart ass. You should specify with the, what I can't and can't do. Yeah. I've honestly never You see never everyone else in here having the problems you're having? You're bringing attention to yourself. No. Do you like attention? I figured I'm trying you to like be comfortable attention? if I'm going to be sitting here for Do you hours, like attention? I want to be comfortable, Because we can give right? you negative attention. Are you listening to me? Are you listening yeah, to me? Exactly. You're just a body in here. It's pretty obviously you think you're special, but you're not. You're just like everyone else in here. I would think that you being a grown woman, I think you would understand that you shouldn't put your feet on the furniture of somebody else's house. How, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old, so you're quite old enough to understand. So you, you have to show that respect. If you want respect, you have to give respect. You'll get respect in here. You don't see anybody else in here having problems with respect. You can't even let somebody finish a sentence before you open your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm okay? sorry. Just sit there. Do not put your feet on the furniture, OK? Come on, Myra. Myra, go ahead and put your back up against the wall there. If you need anything, then you just raise your hand. You ask these officers first. And if they refuse? Listen for your name to be called. If they call you, you need to go exactly where they're to where they're going, calling you from, okay? But if I have to go to the restroom or Then I that's why you raise your hand and you say, Officer, may I please use the restroom? It's like very I, simple. Like you don't have to make things so refuse, difficult. No, but You're, make, why don't you try? I think because you tried us in the first room and nobody likes your attitude, so maybe we could start fresh in here where they don't know about you and you're gonna be cool. But I'm asking. See, it's not working if already. If you know what, it's not your house, so I would suggest if you have to pee. It's just a question, can you answer it? I'm talking to you right now. I said if you've got to pee, then maybe you should start off being polite and listen and follow instructions. No, you're not. All right, why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Let's try this out. Here's your paperwork. So if they refuse, what happens? You're going to find out. Go have a seat. All right, princess. You're going to love her. A very important skill that the officers have to learn is uh, their interpersonal communication skills while they're in here. It's not about what kind of force you use. It's about being able to talk to people, to talk people down, and to get them to do what you want them to do without the use of force at all. Five, three, six. Two. Stand right here, turn around, face the wall, separate your feet. Yes. All right. <laughs> More than a 1,000 here, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, got to count that out and get the sergeant to uh, approve that. 
Have you been here before, sir? I was just here two days ago. Just two Same days ago? Thing, yeah. Sir, can you count my money, please? They're going to, sir. Can you count it in my face before you steal it again, like it's got someone last time? Okay. Let me explain something to you real quick, okay? Are you listening to me, sir? Are you listening to me? My money gets stolen. Are you listening to me? That cop just screwed me over. I passed the test perfectly. Are you he listening to me? He's going to rest because he's jealous because I have a Ferrari, okay? It's not my fault. Okay. All I'm trying to do is give back to this place, build a sports complex, double the amount of police, and make jobs for this place. There you go. And you guys track me because I'm a rich kid because I'm smart. I see your helicopter flashing me every day. Okay. But I want to see it before it goes away. Where is it? I want to count my money. Okay, are you done talking now? Yes, sir. Okay. It's over there. You're going to go see medical. And before they put it away, you're going to come over. You're going to confirm. Are you looking at me? I want to know where my money is. Go ahead and turn around and go see medical. I'm done with you. All right, what do we got going here, officer? All right, we have a 9,500. 9,500. Here's the deal, Andrew. I think there's something in your system that's a controlled substance, so you're going to be uh, given a, you're going to be forced to give a uh, no, blood I'm not. test. I, no, I'm not. I do not have to take a blood test. No, it means you're required because I think controlled substance is an issue. Does it matter? If I blow zero, 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 okay. you can't, I I can you can't give a blood yeah. test. This gentleman came in a DUI for a DUI drugs. I know the law. How My lawyer can you tell? Me. He's misinformed. Breathalyzer won't pick up a positive on a drug test for drugs, so they have to do a uh, blood draw. It's called a free country. It's not Are cop you country. Listen to me or not? You, you just, you just really screwed your up your job by throwing me down like that. That's called assault. That's, that's called abuse. You're gonna lose your job for that. Okay. Oh, we got more money. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put it up here and I'll count it out. No, he's just walking around money. I would assume he's a gambler. He's got a, a lot of cash. We've already deposited $10,000 that was on his person, and now they brought in his property. And who only knows how much is here? I mean, he's got stubs here for the amounts 50000 50000 100000 so. Nope. He said he just wanted to go to In-N-Out Burger. Oh, you, you can then. Yeah. 20. Most people don't walk around with this kind of cash. I think it's if I'm eight, nine. So in addition to the ten thousand dollars cash we've already deposited, uh, we're going to be depositing another forty-one thousand and forty dollars in cash. So, well, how did we come into contact with Andrew tonight? A couple of people were following him down the street, calling him that he was weaving all the roads. When I got behind him, initiated a traffic stop with sirens and air horn, and he decided he wanted to continue rolling forward all the way up to the light, and he got pinned behind another car. At which point, I got up and was he doing stopped him. Excessive speed, or was he uh, actually obeying most of the traffic? Extremely slow. Um, he was only going probably five, ten miles an hour, and then he started rolling away from me after I initiated a traffic stop on him. So, what was he driving tonight? He had apparently just bought a brand new 2010 Ferrari. Right now, he's definitely getting booked for the uh, DUI. We'll put the money right into the money room where it can be safely deposited on his account. So a couple days ago, then when you got pulled over for DUI, what you said you were high. What were you high on? Uh, that caused you to, you know, get pulled over then. You just have to see back. I told you the truth, you know. Yeah, I'm just curious for my own, you know, sake. Because you say you changed your behavior this time. You were at least pulled over this time. I wasn't drunk. You weren't speeding or anything I like that. Zero, zero there. So you don't drink a whole lot? Uh, no, 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 I drink. I drink. I drink a lot. And if I get three DUIs, I'm going to be, I already have charges in Florida. I will be I went to rehab. It helped me a lot. I used to run 15 Roxy's a day and six Annex. Wow. Yeah, I was lost. I just started. I was 17 years old. I, I overdosed. I had serious drug problems, but I've slowly gotten better. I've learned a lot. I used to be on 15 a day. So, you know, there's just some restructuring. That all America needs some restructuring. That's all I'm about, because I've been given, given everything in my life. I've been given everything. Now you want to give back and help out. I've always, I've always been giving back. I've already given out. It's, I don't know, I've, already, I've already given out $250,000 in tips. Why? That's your month of bed. Why? You know, all I do is give out. That's Why? it. That's it. That's it. Talk to me as we walk in here. For a year. Come on up, kind of listen to me for a little bit here. We're going to get you through this process. So you can kind of chill until then. OK. As soon as you bail them out right here, listen, you got $2,000 for the uh, DUI and $200 each, you know, the unregistered vehicle, no proof insurance. Now we're going to have you sign for your property because you know that we, 
all your checks that you had yeah. are going to be in your property yeah. there. The check from CCDC before and then the... Uh, you guys give me a check for 5000 I can just return that check to you and you guys can keep the change. Do you yeah. want to make donations of some kind? You can contact yeah. the chaplain here. Maybe you can uh, do a money release for that $5,000 check. Okay. You understand this is your second DUI right now? Yes, I know. But if you are convicted, I you get a I'm third not one. Drive, I'm, I'm I know. Okay, you know, that's right, you know it, okay? I know. I'm not. Okay. Apparently, his family have the largest food distribution companies in the world, so uh, he does have great financial backing. You know, hopefully, he will come through with his uh, promises and, and clean up his act. When you come in here, your attitude's gonna dictate my attitude, and that's kind of a rule I've always had working here. If you come in and you're polite with me and you have questions, I have no problem taking some time aside, explain to you the process, answering any questions you have. But when you come at me strong or you're upset or you're angry, it doesn't make me want to help you anymore. Okay, spread your feet, man. Don't talk to me that way. You just asked a question. Better not talk to me that way. I meant to. Okay. Got it? I'm going to do a little searching, okay? Spread your feet for me. Talk to me with respect. Talk to you respect? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get crazy on you. What the f bitch? Oh, I'm just warning you, I'm gonna touch places, okay? You, no, you're not gonna touch no, nothing. Don't grab me. You don't, don't touch my tit. Me. Now let go of my hand. You don't tell me you're let gonna go touch of my, my hand. tit and do it. Didn't you just say that? Oh, trust me, I don't like it any more than you do. That's like part that. of my job detail, Mel. You're nasty. You said you were gonna do it and you did it. You f grab my nipple, bitch. Hold still. Can I touch your wee wee? Like she touched my nipple? <laughs> All right, go down to medical. Go sit down. Okay, what do you want? First name. Denise, D-E-N-I-S-E. What are you looking at, bitch? Did you have any alcohol today? Huh? Alcohol. I drink beer every day since I was four years old, bitch. Why are you on? What about it? Why are you on? What about it? You think my life has changed or something? Changed to what? To what? Huh? No, Shut up, up pig. Suicidal? I don't get suicidal, bitch. Don't touch me. I got a Sarge. Are you done? Keep your head down, OK? Keep your head right there. OK. That thing is twisted, though. Put your feet down. Hands down. Oh, the handcuff is Put your butt down. Put your butt down. Oh, thank you. I did not do you that. You tried to bite the officer. No, I did it. You're I lying. I watched you. I saw okay, you. You're a liar. Yeah. He was teasing me that I was going to bite him. I teased him. You okay? can't tease like that. I don't like. He didn't know to say I'm gonna yeah. bite him. I'm not an animal. But bitch. you can't tease like that. Right. I don't give a. People f take it seriously that. here when you try and do. I take like it that. seriously when you tell me I'm gonna bite people. I'm not a dog. Well, well, you said that. that. Excuse me. No, I didn't. You're a liar. No. Stop I'm lying. I'm very angry. With like I would bite somebody. I'm not a dog, bitch. <sighs> what an angry little person she is. I don't know what is with her, but she has some serious Go issues with away. being angry. So turn your mental illness off. Tell me about that female you brought in. She was found in the vacant house. No one's supposed to be in the premise. And I was being nice and give her a written warning. And she decided she didn't want to be quiet. And she kept yelling and causing a scene. So I told her she was going to jump for trespass. And the whole ride over here, she was nice and quiet. Oh, she was? Oh, not a word out of her. <clears throat> and then um, outside, she was getting a little snippy with me. Another officer came out saying hi. And next thing you know, she stands up, walking door, turns around, goes right after him. So I grabbed her. It's definitely a problem. Yep. Okay. Just a trespass. That's all it was. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. She seems to have calmed down. The psych service has already talked to her, so. We're going to take her out of the chair, move her down to a C6 side cell. Okay. So. We can do that. Do you want to roll her down there, then? Yeah, we'll roll her down there. Remain calm like this. We'll get you right out of this chair, all right? Okay. All right, Denise, we're going to pull you out of the chair, OK? I'm sure that's not very comfortable, right? Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I'm not stupid, right? Well, I'll put you in the chair, or you can stay okay, in the chair. Okay. It's very simple. Come, come, come. Come, 
just took her out of the chair. I think she'll be fine. She seems to calm down quite a bit. She'll stay in here for additional cool down period. Stay right there until that door no, shuts. Until we're out of here. Every single time. What are you looking at laughing at, bitch? And her mental illness. All right, well, at least no one got hurt. She'll have her nap and we'll feed her in a little while. She'll be released and she'll come back next week. Denise, hey, ma'am, Denise, sit up for a second. Since you did to me tonight, I don't respect you no more. First of all, Denise, you don't know who I am, OK? I was on lunch while you came in here. So I was asked to just come down here, get your side of the story. I don't have a side of the story. There is no story at all. Somebody made a mistake, that's it. It wasn't us. Yeah, it was you. It wasn't me, ma'am. There is nobody else in a black and white car besides you guys. I wasn't in the black and white car. Besides 20 of them. I wasn't in the black and white car reason what, what what are you all mad about 20 f cars on somebody or that you got the wrong man dude that's probably overkill isn't it no you have the no. wrong people the people on the streets are the ones that you're angry with what's an overkill is where you came up on me for no f reason i wasn't even there though denise. period every one of you were denise good sorry denise denise ma ma denise ma ma man i'm done with you no more you're not a bad person. You just made some bad choices. So just remember you that. You did. There's only one So thank side. you very much. Well, you're not telling us yours. We've given you the opportunity. I don't have a side. OK. Good night. You don't understand it, do you? She's still riled up about the whole circumstance on the street. It's more of the uniform that she sees and not the person. People have made a lot of efforts to try to uh, just communicate with her to really find out what's going on with her. And I'm sure all that truth will come out here in the next few days as she's in here. busy in here so we're gonna get a little bit of everything we're receiving inmates every seems like every 15 20 minutes some of these people are starting to get a little restless it's a really really busy night it feels like a weekend just a normal middle of the week night all right why are you two here I'm here because I was playing guitar on the bridge, and then the officers came up, and they said I'd pack it up. So I was packing it up, and they said that because I wasn't, uh, wasn't packing up fast enough, they started talking crap to me. Like, not like talking crap, like your classic street talking crap, but just like being rude. I said, respect me like a human being. And then the supervisor said, put her in cuffs. So, because I wasn't cooperating. You had a lot of money, so you make a lot of money doing that. Not usually. So. Oh, OK. So what do you do, leave the guitar case open and people drop tips just to get you by until you find a job? Or that's what do you music do? For a living. Oh, I only okay. do original stuff on the bridge, too. OK. So. We've got your guitar back there all nice and safe. When you go home, we'll give that back to you. And what's your story, miss? Why are you here? I'm here because um, they saw me walking, and then they stopped me, and then they asked me if I'd ever been arrested, and of course I have. So they judged me, and they assumed I was doing something else. When I was just meeting my boyfriend to go get some sushi. So like maybe a loitering charge? Yeah, they said it was loitering, but I wasn't doing nothing. So now when they see you, they think you're still Yeah, they think you're I'm not even allowed on the strip or nothing. How many times have you been here? Is this your first time here? Oh, OK. How long have you been in Vegas? A year. A year? Oh, and it's your first time to the jail. That's good. Yeah, yay. That's good. Do you talk to your family still? When I turned 17, uh, I got kicked out for not wanting to do chores. So oh. I lived on my own since then. So That's kind of harsh, because I think most adolescents rebel you against know, the whole it, cleaning I'm of the room. I'm thankful that it happened, though. Like, if it hadn't happened, I wouldn't have been traveling around for the last two years. I wouldn't have got to see, like, you know, I've lived in, like, six different states now. And you're able to so sustain yourself? Mm -hmm. and Just my guitar. Roof over your Just head? Me and my guitar. Your stomach? Good so. for you. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Well, you guys will move along in the process here shortly, OK? I am mad as hell because I didn't do anything. Oh, that's an awful look you're giving me. What the hell are you keeping? I don't know. I don't know why you're here. I haven't seen your paperwork. But don't scare me. I might have to go home. Come here, Rhonda. You're going to see medical now. To the right, and this nice guy in the green shirt. There you go. What's your birthday? You got to tell him. No, Rhonda, don't do that. You don't want to mess up your hair. 
Oh, Brona, do you want to hurt yourself? You tell me you've done that so well, he, far. He can't read your mind, so we do kind of need you to answer oh, the well, question. Well, they have so far. They've read my mind. Okay. They said I did this or that, and I didn't. So... But we weren't the ones that arrested you, so we I, just want to take care of you while you're here. Give me a gun. I won't oh. point it forward. I'll point it backwards. Uh -huh. Sorry to hear that. Aha, uh -huh, you wow. missed putting your hand <laughs> I didn't want my hand to get smashed. I knew oh, my hand. Baloney. Baloney. You know what you you're doing. You know what you're doing. You got up today and did your makeup, you did your hair. Uh, just yeah. lipstick, that's okay. it. All right, can you stand up? Didn't you used to do movies? I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Keep that shirt down. Well, you go, girl. You know how they say beauty and the beast? I say beauty is the beast. When you've got it, you're always getting. When you haven't, the men are anyway. You've got it, you've got it, right, Rhonda? Yeah. Sit right there. I still I'm do. Still... Oh. Crooks and criminals. Yeah, it is jail. I you kid. Rhonda's one of our um, regulars. I'm sure you remember her from upstairs. She was frequenting a business that she's been trespassed. And when they called the police, they asked her her name. She, she didn't give them. She didn't tell them the truth. She lied. And so she wasn't brought in for trespassing, but she was brought in for the furnishing the false information to a public officer. Rhonda, you're probably going to get an OR for your charge. You're not going to be here very long this time, OK? I'm sure that's good news for you. No, I'm still mad that any of it happened. You don't want to stay here. You want to get out, and then in a month, you go to court, tell the judge what happened? No matter how you're judged, if the truth you don't tell, your conscience will put you in your own little self. So tell me, is it worth it to sit in these chairs? We're mixing up your lives in such childish affairs. When you know it is wrong, and you do it anyway, you're just giving that judge the right to put you away. All right, Rhonda, you just rest. OK, Rhonda's making a little more sense now. She won't be here very long unless she has any warrants. All these stickers on the guitar, you've been to all those places? Well, Reggie's I've been to. Night Horse, someone gave me a sticker for it. Scotty Donuts from a concert. Uh, Power Man 5000. OK. I think I should have everything to my mom's house and that ever might be valuable when I get famous. So. Keeps it safe for you? Yeah, she's got like two pairs of my Converse's right now. Like I figured they probably smell bad and look really gross, but someday someone might want my shoes. Well, that's cool. That's Have cool. Have you seen the guitar yet? No, I haven't. Wow. So who painted that? Me. So you're Ten Captain bucks. Charlie? Yes. Original artist Captain Charlie. Wow. <laughs> Please I'm tip for photos. This is my real job. Yeah. I don't want to have a real job ever, like okay. a real job. Okay. What's that tattoo on the back of your neck? It's a captain's suit. Oh, turn around. Let me see. I didn't see that before. So what's the significance there? That's your name, too. Yeah. Uh, well, I wrote a song called Captain, and it's like a big influence on everything that I'm doing as a musician, just going out and traveling around and whatnot. But also, it's a reminder to always be a leader instead of a follower. <laughs> All right. You can stand up and come over here. You going to write a song about this when you get out? Mm -hmm. You probably should. So we're going to move into the next lobby, where exciting things are going to happen for you. OK. If any, any questions, just check with these officers. You got any questions for me? No? You good to go? Okay, good luck to you. Thanks. All right, <laughs> bye. Okay. All right, Alicia was very happy to come in here, so we'll pass out her paperwork and they'll start calling her name. She'll get processed. We'll give her her guitar back and she'll she'll go play some more after she gets some rest, probably. Maybe one day, we'll see her in the movies. come in, you can't judge them by their charges. Sometimes they come in for misdemeanors, and once they get in here, things change. They get agitated. We may now have assault on an officer, assault on another inmate. So we always have to stay on our toes and be prepared for anything that comes up. There's a code five. Well, they pull up fast, too, so it might be a good one. Yeah, how you doing? I might be able to speak her out of there. Just calm down a little bit. She's kicking, fighting, spitting, peeing, yeah. all that good stuff. Just trying to take her shorts off, stuff like that in the back. It's Kayla, how you doing? I'm not Kayla. I'm Victoria. And I'm not drunk. Okay. Can we get these chips up we so sure I don't my winnings? We sure will. You gonna cooperate with my officers, right? Look at right. me. That's yes the or no? I'm the yes. Okay, let's go. 
She got some uh, chips yeah, she's in pulled, the box. pulling them out of her uh, bad vagina, I guess. All right. I'm going to put my leg over here. No, we'll pull you Victoria. first. Bring your feet out. <laughs> Can I get my two red chips? And I okay. think I got one stuck on my butt. Look. Right Wait, it's stuck on my butt. OK, we'll get it over here. Because I'm sticky. Look. You put my butt because it's hurt. I mean, you're like, I won't grab butt. your butt, but no, hand, I'm hand gonna me your No, I'm going to drop it off. Can I just grab it? You know how you feel something sticking on your butt? <laughs> <laughs> I sucked it on my butt that whole ride. In the car, she said she had some poker chips stuck to her backside. And she got her shorts loose, and it just fell out of her, her shorts. You. <laughs> you are too. I'm a right to you. Just tell me to shut up. No, that's how I, we talk on the East Coast, bitch. Well, I ain't even calling you no bitch. I'm just saying that. Hold on. Face the wall. I'm facing the wall, girl. I'm face. I'm gonna do whatever you want, Miss Kelly. All right. Go see medical. How tall are you? Four foot ten, about 105, and I was a blonde yesterday. Don't shake your hair. Do you have any medical problems diagnosed by a doctor? I'm born you. That's about it. I've been a lesbian for five years, but that's irrelevant. Any drugs? I'm gonna say drugs. Man, I look like a drug addict to you. Listen, I've been waiting for 29 years to come to Vegas and act up, and I got arrested for some bull You know all the things I could have got arrested for? I was picking up my ex-girlfriend, and I got arrested. Are you suicidal? Do I look suicidal to you? No, no, no. Oh, he asked me a question. What does suicidal got to do with you opening your legs? Miss Kelly, I ain't commit no crime. Stand up. We were working on a safe trip down on the boulevard, and we were in front of a they, one of the local casinos. As we're there, we get hailed down by uh, security. Security says they have two females that are fighting. Um, we walk over and we see two uh, females arguing, uh, trying to fight with security, trying to fight with each other. Um, we're able to detain both of them. Both of them are fighting and kicking us. Apparently, they're um, from Connecticut and they're uh, here on vacation. And they just got a little too had a little bit too much to drink. Um, they had poker chips. They were trying to hide them from each other in their bras and things like that. We spent about 30 minutes before we decided to just take them just straight to jail for fighting with each other in front of the casino. I came out here to have fun. I came out here to be acting my age. Look at her. time is over now. Bitch, playtime just My grandma's going to bomb me out in less than five minutes. Can we talk minutes. about that word? I'm Let me make someone. a phone call home, see how quick my grandma bombed me um, out. Put your thumb up there. He's just being very verbal and causing a disruption. So we're going to go ahead and take her to the side cell. Um, so she can get a time to cool down. I've never been arrested for drugs. I'm crazy because I'm from Connecticut. But this is a cool experience. Eight seconds like I say I got arrested before I was 30. Put your knee up there. Oh, can you up on it? Like a stripper? You know what? You're going to make this real nasty quick. We trying to help you get nasty quick, whatever you want. This comes off. Place your hands high on the wall. I'm like Madonna, like a virgin. Like a virgin. Victoria was disruptive out in pre-arrest, so we decided to give her some time to cool down, uh, sober up a little bit, and then we'll come back and check on her and bring her back out to go through the booking process. Check on Victoria, see how she's doing, if she's calmed down. Victoria, you want to come up to the door? I got some clothes for you. You want some clothes? OK, come up to the door and get it. Give me your belly piercing. Can you come in there? Mm -hmm. There's a belly piercing. We didn't, we didn't get it. Victoria, let me see your belly piercing. I'm going to take it off. What? We need to get your belly Give piercing. Give me your belly piercing. Did you just wake me up to take a jewelry out of my stomach? Is that what you guys do in a minute? Oh, I came here anymore? to talk to you, see if you could come out of this room. I've been sitting here. What time is it? It's around 3 o'clock. OK, so I've been sitting here asleep for like three hours. No, right? it's about an hour or less. Are you going to give me your belly piercing? Am I going to get out of here tonight? No. All right. Dude. Hold her down. Oh, big girl. You know, I was trying to be nice to you for a minute. Okay, I'm being nice. Again? Yeah. Nice, sweetie. Hopefully you stay there. 
for a minute. Mm -hmm. So right now, she has a bit of an attitude. Um, try to talk to her, see if she would talk to us about what happened. When she calms down, we'll continue her process. She'll have her poker chips waiting for her when she gets out. Everyone that comes into this facility is treated the same, no matter what the charge. It's the person's demeanor that dictates just how they go through this process. So if they come through the process and cooperate, they go through. But the ones that struggle and don't want to listen to the instructions, then they end up in the side cell and the process starts all over again after that. Just to let you know, I'm going to finish Pat searching you, OK? So go ahead and spread your feet for me, please. It's a sport. It's underwear in the underwear. I'm familiar with skorts. Okay. It was very popular a few years ago. Yes, they were. Ooh, you are you sure there were shorts? You want to see? No, I just felt more than I needed to. OK, I'll take these handcuffs off of you, but the attitude is not going to help you get through the process. Don't roll your eyes. I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm taking a minute out of my time to try to let I, you know I what's going to help you or not. Saying, OK? I'm still trying to get over me being slammed into a wall. OK, okay? but you got to understand, I didn't slam you into a wall. I understand that, but I'm in pain, OK? And I have a tendency of being nasty when I'm in pain. I can see that. I'm sorry. We got a nice little half a hospital upstairs, but you just got to calm down, though. Come on. Once you walk down this row and have a seat at the end of the third row, okay? Quite a young lady. <laughs> so can you tell me what happened with that female? She uh, claims that she was a victim of domestic abuse, and uh, she came up with a warrant. She was quite uncooperative when we were talking to her, so. I heard she kicked shoes at an officer. Was that you? No, it was a couple other guys outside. She refused to put her sandals on. She's been a handful ever since we started talking to her. Well, thank you. What did you get brought in for? Mm -hmm. Traffic warrant. Traffic warrant? From how long ago? I have no idea. So tell me about the scorpion tattoo on your face. It's different. It's, it's on your face, though. Yeah. What do you do for a living? When I got the tattoo, I was working for the school district and they fired me. For the tattoo? Mm -hmm. So where do you work now? At the dollhouse. At the what house? The dollhouse. The dollhouse? Mm -hmm. Is that like a, a actual dollhouse or like, like internet pants? Oh. Well, I guess they don't mind tattoos, right? Right. <laughs> they actually like it. Have a seat over here. This row, all the way down the very last chair. Medical's going to call you. Hey, you brought in that female with the scorpion on her face? Yeah. Can you tell me the story behind her? Yeah, pretty much uh, saw her traveling at a uh, high rate of speed um, down the road, got behind her, proceeded to do a traffic stop on her when I made contact, and ended up uh, running her up. She had some warrants out, so that's why she's here. Thank you. Yep. All right, so uh, what do you do at the dollhouse? I've never heard of the dollhouse before. I'm a webcam model. A what? Webcam model. A model, OK. So you just model nothing <laughs> on the camera, right? OK. Pays my bills. There you go. Did you make more doing that than being working for the school district? Absolutely. What's your schedule like? How does that work? I go, I log in, chat. If they want to go private, we go private. Whatever they ask after that, they have to take me to the pay chat for me to do anything. Other than that, I'm not doing nothing. OK. What is one of the weirdest or funniest requests someone's asked you to do? Changing the their diaper. How do you do that over the web? Basically, he was changing his own diaper. I was just instructing him to do it. And he wanted me to watch. Ooh, that is a weird fetish. That's sick. That's, so that's did you, nasty. How do you like keep a straight face, though? Are you just like dying? Like, yeah, you got to. It's money. $10 a minute. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Right. You just go along with it. Right. <laughs> that's very interesting. All right, go ahead and go back to there, to whoever's calling you. I worked on the booking floor for about seven years. On a daily occurrence, people come in driving under the influence. Uh, most of the time it is for alcohol, but we do get some that come in for doing other drugs. We just know that, you know, you come to Vegas and you're out there drinking and doing drugs, you're going to be coming to jail. What'd you come to jail for today? I got a bunch of warrants. Warrants? Yeah. For what? I gave you the 
Trying to take it. Well, well, you have 12 warrants. What do you got going on around your neck here? This, I got my fire. Got scratched? Yeah, I got another one. I was at a time. You had a different fight with? My main daddy's wife. Your baby daddy's wife? It looks like she bit me. She bit you? Yeah. Did she come to jail? Yeah, she's coming to jail. Did this just happen? It was come two days ago, but then she started acting crazy again and backed into my car. Okay. All right, come on down this way. The second row, all the way down to the end. It looks like she and another female got into some type of domestic dispute. Um, when the police arrived, they actually ran her, and she had warrants. We'll see when the other party gets here. so we can get you out those chains. Stand right here, turn and face that direction, spread your feet behind your head. So what really happened earlier? I don't know. You called the police and they brought you here? Yep, I called the police because I was being abused. OK. OK, and then the guy that had the warrant, uh -huh. they leave him there and take me. OK. I wouldn't do anything with him. So he got pissed at me, slams me up against the wall, so I called the cops. What else can I do? You did, right? You should. You yeah, can. but how, why am I down here and he okay, ain't? Okay, we're going to figure that out. That's some backwards mess. Yeah, we're going to figure that out. Go ahead and take your hair ties out, please. So you guys are just friends, you and your roommate? Yes, that was the problem. It was like sexual harassment. So why would you, you let You were in the room, not Cootie, OK? Oh, uh, OK, I'm sorry. Let me see behind your ears. Pull your earlobe down. Little with my ears, you can see that from where you are. You're just going to fight me with everything. I can't yes. see behind your ears. Let me see this side. I actually think you're a nice person, though. You I just are. Think you're going, this is you me just got it. Yeah, I just, I just you think you got it. You used to the personality. Yeah, as I said, I just think you just got bad. You're getting in a bad situation right now. That's all. I'll grab the bottom of your bra from I'm the sorry, outside of your buddy. shirt. You're going to see a whole lot more than this. <laughs> Why don't you try to avoid that and just shake out your shirt from the outside? Look at uh, See how easy this is? Try it. You ain't got all this either. <laughs> No, this is true. Come Go ahead. Miss Crystal, come on. Why? I'm one, serious. Give me one, one good shake. Can't you just look at down in here? Miss Why I gotta show everybody my goodies? We are wasting some time right now. Here. Look at no, 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 no. I don't want to see your boobs. Well, did, look at me. And look at me. Ready? Here we go. Miss I'm gonna Crystal, do this with you. Down. This is gonna be easy. Just try it. Grab the bottom of your bra from the outside of your shirt. What is I'm your doing it right now. About? Cause you ain't got nothing. Grab the bottom of your bra from the outside of your shirt. But here, if you want the bra, you can have the bra. I don't know what the hell you got. Okay, go ahead and put that back. That worked. <laughs> Good job. Let me see your belly button. I don't even know where that is. Leave me alone, lady. I haven't seen that in years. Got yes. it. We're good. We're so, done. So there was a I'm out. Woo! She's tough. Yep. Let's go. I just want to bubble bath some water right now. A bubble bath? You're not going to get a bubble bath. You're not going to get a bubble bath. I know that. Okay. Here, this is for you. Yeah. She argued with everything. Yeah. She had an answer for everything and argued with everything. Like you said, I think that's her. I think that's just her, though. But I don't think she's that bad of a person no. outside of here. Well, I wish her the best of luck. Oh, yeah. We're down the end of that row. Did she get arrested for? She ran her car into my car. Who's she? The baby mother of my soon-to-be ex-husband. OK. What's the problem between you two? There was none. I was at his house. She decided to show up, and it happened. It happened. Go down the second row here. You want to give us her or not? Have you seen the nurse? Yeah. All right. Go all the way down to the end. Have a seat. After talking to both these ladies, they seem to have completely different stories of what happened. So I need to talk to the arresting officer to find out what the real story is behind that. Female wearing the white shirt shows up to her yeah. soon-to-be ex-husband's house, and she's knocking on the door. He's refusing to answer. Female in the black shirt, his daughter's mom, while she's pulling up, female in the white shirt puts her car in reverse and backs it, into her, intentionally it, hitting the car. She's arrested for assault with deadly weapon, having backed a vehicle up into another vehicle with uh, having occupants in it. And the other has traffic warrants. A little bit of drama going on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. 
So she rammed her car into you. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. for no so reason. So and she fights so now you. Now she has four felony charges on her for no reason over a guy I don't even want, I don't even sleep with. I like black guys and I don't want my baby daddy. Hello. So there have been no previous problems before that night? There's been problems for 10 years. They've been married the whole time. There's a she problem. She just doesn't like you? She was my best friend. <laughs> she was your best friend? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could put me in a room with her, and I wouldn't want to hit her. I wouldn't want to give to I don't care. Like, I don't care about you. Because she can't grow up. Right? <laughs> All right, just sit tight there. <laughs> Kelly, come over here. All right, so I talked to Jennifer over there, and she kind of told me the story of what happened. I talked to the patrol officers about what happened. And she's kind of saying that all this is all because of you. Okay. You good with that? Until I'm proven guilty, yes. So you're proven guilty? Yes, I seen her this morning. Um, so you're proven guilty. house. We are not divorced yet. We've been separated for two weeks. For two weeks? Yes. And she was over there and pick up her child? I don't know what she was doing there. I don't care what she was doing there. OK. All right, just going on right there. <laughs> After talking to you, both these ladies, it just seems like a lot of drama between the both of them. And uh, hopefully they'll get it figured out, especially because there's a uh, child involved. tourist town, we get a lot of offenders that it's their first time here in jail. They're scared. They've never been through anything like this before. They have no idea what to expect. When we see that, we'll try and calm them down, talk to them, explain the process to them so it takes away some of the anxiety. Almost all the time, you'll get a lot of cooperation out of them. She's a female code five coming in, disorderly and combative with the arresting officers. Or if she doesn't want to cooperate, we'll go ahead and use a restraint chair to get her safely inside the jail. Hey, how's it going? Do you have uh, information on her, her name, ID number, that kind of stuff? She doesn't have an ID number. She's going to be new. OK. Uh, her name is uh, Kimberly. Uh, what's her charges going to be? It's uh, battered domestic violence. They both hit each other. She's trying to tell me it's all foreplay. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Hey, you've been arrested for battery DV. <laughs> I don't like a hood over my face. Don't know what's going on other than they had a domestic violence situation. She'll sit there for a cooling down period. She's really upset. She came in with her boyfriend. This is the boyfriend being brought in right now. And what happened with the mother? We received a call from some neighbors that heard a bunch of yelling and screaming. It sounded like some banging around inside the house. We got there. They were both hysterical, drunk. Um, she's got cuts all over her face, and she's got a swollen eye. Um, he had some scratches on his cheek. Mm -hmm. He just pretty much said, we went to a concert. We ended up getting kicked out because she was so drunk, she fell over. Um, when they uh, were driving in the car home, he said out of nowhere, she just started punching him in the face. And so he was trying to block her, and he hit her a couple times. And she turned it from not having a story to all of a sudden saying it was simply foreplay, and she started getting extremely vulgar in the back of the car and then wow. she didn't understand why we were taking her to jail. I explained it to her about a hundred times. Okay. All right. Thank you. So what did you do to get put in the chair? I don't know why I was dragged out of my bedroom in the middle of sex and arrested. Are you sure he didn't call the cops on you? No. He's a screamer. He screams, man. You should hear him. I don't know who called. It wasn't like that. But you know what? He's like getting so upset out there. I know he is. I'm just so don't do that. I'm just so out of my element. That's why you don't understand. It's just. I can't let you out of the chair until you calm down and stop screaming and stop hollering. All right. Oh come on, come on, you guys. I'll be back in about ten minutes to talk to you. All right. <laughs> Richard, you were telling me something about a concert. You went and saw a live band or something? Yeah. You've been drinking, and so you guys got kicked out of the concert. What now, happened is... Uh, what happened during that hour? That... She was drunk. She was so drunk that we got kicked out because of her. Dude, I've never seen it like that. And then what happened? The place shut up after that? It is what it is. They have a job to do. It, it is what it is. Just try to remain calm for me. 
He's kind of got that nicer version of the story. Her story is that they were playing dominatrix in the bedroom. He's got a few marks on his face where uh, she was uh, beating on him at the concert. I think they were smacking a little bit on each other because she's got marks all over her face, too. Alcohol and a little love gone bad. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> OK, you've been cooperative? Yes. All right, so I'm going to take your mask off. No right. spitting, right? No, I'm more of a, a peer right now. More of a peer? Well, I got to go. I'll get you out of the chair, right? <laughs> it's because the other half is uh, sitting out in the other room. We're going to keep her separated in a room in the back until he finishes the process, and then we'll bring her back in. All right, call 9 Right over here, OK? Call 16, we had a fight going on here. Don't really know what happened hey, man, other than when they had this inmate on the ground, which apparently is one of the aggressors. Oh, it looks like they got him. Yeah, we got two. Put him in the corner down that way. <laughs> what happened, man? He wanted to sit where I was sitting. He wanted to sit where you were sitting? So you know, you're looking to be in rebook for a felony now. What's the charge? Battery by prisoner. <laughs> Apparently, these two were fighting over a single spot in the cell. He walked up and said, hey, you're in my spot, and started kicking him with his foot, talking smack to him. They both threw punches, both landed punches, so it's battery by both of them. Looks like you kicked the wrong guy. Nobody's happy about being in the county jail, but they're taking their frustration out on each other. They're both going to be taken to disciplinary housing tonight, and uh, they'll go in front of a disciplinary review board. You're already in enough trouble, so just sit there and calm down. Yeah, it's a problem. It just keeps turning bad situations into worse. Get them a uh, room up in disciplinary and move them on up as soon as we can. Hey, Kim. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Kim? You doing OK? Are you feeling better? You weren't feeling too good when you came in here. You were a little bit on the intoxicated side, huh? Maybe you were too drunk to remember, because you were trying to blame it on the fact that you were getting a little intimate with each other. But I think, according to the marks on your face, I think it was more than being intimate with each other. Huh? I haven't been able to see anything. Yeah, you have some marks on your face. You should use this as a guide to your drinking. You shouldn't do it, because you're not a good drunk at all, right? Just relax, and then we'll get you out of here, OK? Lesson learned for her and her boyfriend. Drinking is always found in the mixture of domestic violence, and you know it never turns out good. They end up getting in here and not being able to get out for a few days. An expensive lesson learned for those two. Kelly, you come around this way. It looks like you were charged with battery with a deadly weapon. So I'm assuming the car is going to be used as the deadly weapon. Then put your hand up on your head. Since you backed your car up into hers while she was in it. Put your hand up on your head. So you've got a bail. Battery with Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a secret red right chair here. Battery with a deadly weapon. And the bail is ten thousand dollars. Come on up here. All right. I need you to sign three pieces of paper here. This one here is for your property. All right. This one here is for your money. When you get out, what's going to happen with all this? I'm going to go home. I'm moving out of the state of Nevada. Go home. Where's home? Home with my family. Just in a different state? Yes. Yeah. Just get out of here. Yes. So you're not going to have any other problems no. or anything. Mm -hmm. This is way enough for me. This is crazy. Okay, here's a copy. You're gonna okay. have walk out the door here. I'm gonna actually have you sit in the back row over here. 
Um, if you need to get up for any reason at all, raise your hand and ask before you get up. They'll talk to you in a minute. Just have a seat in the back corner. Yeah, they'll call your name around here. I'm kind of thinking both of them are just, they seem like they just want to stay away from each other when, when they get out of here. Hopefully everything will work out for them and they will never have to have contact with each other. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy. One percent. Occupy. My psoriasis is everywhere. Turn this way. It's everywhere. Turn this way. You Come do on. not respect my psoriasis. Come on. Please treat my psoriasis. I want my psoriasis <laughs> treated. He was parked outside the Tropicana, and he appeared to be intoxicated. Mm -hmm. He was redlining his vehicle. I got there, I approached, and he was in his vehicle like he was sleeping. Mm -hmm. At first, he was uh, real uh, apologetic and stuff, saying sorry and stuff, and then he was saying thank you a lot. It wasn't until he got in the car, that's when he started shouting that he was uh, a hostage and, and that he was uh, Occupy Wall Street. Making it worse on himself. Thank you. Not a problem. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. I will occupy Las Vegas. I have a graduate degree from Harvard University. My God, you guys are going to be just so screwed. We're going to take your blood. Are you willing to give it? What is the point of that? What is your name? What is your name, name, sir? Sergeant Albright. What is your your Sergeant what? Albright. Okay, fine. What is the point? Barry, just relax. We're going to take your blood. Fine, you can take my blood. I have not done anything wrong to anybody whatsoever. All right. So you're going to find that I'm I'm like. Drunk. Big damn deal. You are the 99%. God bless America. You know I what? agree with you. I love you. I love you, sir. I love you, sir, to no end. Don't ask a piece Yeah. 99%. Hey, banks got bailed out. Banks got bailed out. Uh, gentleman yeah, came yeah. in for DUI. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. Unfortunately, this is not the place to be uh, spouting off propaganda because uh, he's going to have to go away. All right, come on down this way. Sir, you heard my arm. Right, just walk. Walk, sir. Walk. Banks got sold out. We got sold out. Banks got sold out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out, sir. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. I got an Harvard degree. Gonna put me in the Lulu bin. Oh, the other person just doesn't know how to get along with my ass. Gonna kick my ass. He's more interested in uh, making a spectacle of himself than, uh, than just going along and getting out of the system. He obviously made a mistake tonight, but he's compounding it with his behavior. He'll get to spend some time here to sober up. Yeah, get about a half hour and then do a follow up. We'll see. Hopefully, it calms down. I had the good fortune to be a sergeant in the greatest city in the country, Las Vegas, where adults come to fulfill their greatest dreams and maybe win the greatest jackpot of their life and never have to work again. But sometimes the tides turn on them and it becomes the worst nightmare in their life. And that's when I get to meet them in the Clark County Detention Center. Hey, Sarge. Hey, we on the Code 5 team. They got one coming in. Code 5 has arrived. Code 5 has arrived. Just got a call from Control. Extremely violent male coming in. Code 5. Don't know quite what we're up against at this point. All right, give me a briefing as to what we have happening with this young man here. There was about uh, 15 mm -hmm. people hanging out in front of an apartment complex. They called the reported man armed with a baseball bat, swinging it. He uh, attempted to flee up a flight of stairs. He struggled with my partner. He was taken into custody. Turns out he has two Clark County Justice Court warrants here at Clark County Detention Center. All right, good job, good job, very good. Stand right here, stand right here. Face that way. Yeah, I think sharp on you, man. No, man, I ain't got on me. I ain't got my phone either. I'd like it back. Hey, sir, you got my property. Hang on. I'd like my property. It's all going to be coming in against Roll. Wait till it comes in. You've got to chill. Oh, you know, if you want. cucumber, bro, I should be tripping the out right now. Uh, I don't think so. No, I should, I swear. If you had any idea. Relax. Yeah, I'm relaxed. What? You're the one that's all stiff, dude. What's wrong with you, boy? You know, is this cheerful? Oh, uh, dude, I can be more cheerful, homie. I got some real cheerful. Let's go. Say, but I'm not going to. Let's go, David. Come on. Oh, my God, dude. Seriously, bro. 
Where's my iPhone? I've yet to see my iPhone come in. Do we have a cell phone that came and an iPhone that came in? I'll check Just the car. Please let us know that there is check, to check relieve the some of the stress. These fools want to play with me, swear to God, dog. Officer and Julo. Crazy how my iPhone didn't come in the first time, right? Everybody I can, every chance I get, do the phone, get my phone. All right. You want to know why I'm acting we're like gonna keep, we're gonna, listen. You saw that, right? You did saw I, that, right? I, hold on. Everything else got brought in, but they stole my phone. OK, did I not take the lead to hey, see if that exists for you? Did I not do that? So now you, you need to reel it in. I just want you now, to understand listen, why I was pissed off. But now you need to reel it in, all right? Yeah, we got it, Sarge. We have an iPhone. Thank you very much, officer. So when I get a cell right off top, yeah, I'm blessed. Yeah, real blessed. All right, this way. The reason that I was pushing so hard on that iPhone matter was he was trying to use that as an excuse for his stress. I knew as well as you did that that, that behavior was coming from a lot deeper than just an iPhone. So when he was swinging the bat, was he engaged with some individuals or just in a crowd of people swinging a, just a, a bat? No, he was concerned for a bicycle he had. He said someone stole it. He was just irate and out of his mind swinging a bat. About uh, 20 yards away, there's a group of people hanging out in front of an apartment complex. They called in because they were concerned. They didn't want him to come and uh, just get involved with him at all. So because these rookie punk bitch ass that brought me in here said that uh, this and that, Kick your because shoes they off, said man. this Kick and your that, shoes off. I'm going to get like this. Put your friend. shoes off, OK? Oh, you mother. Unlace them. That's what I'm going to do, sir. Damn it, man. There ain't even a mother or something. Yeah. Holy. Against the wall. Oh, I don't trip wouldn't dare get up off it. I know y'all ready to leave. Oh, let's go, man. Put my let's ass go. in there, please, dude. Let's oh, go. You stop touching me. All right. Spread your feet. Chance behind your head, okay? No problem. Thank you, sir. Just stay just like that. Oh, guys, don't jump. Pull them down, guys. All right. Relax. We'll talk later. You haven't earned that respect from me. He is tweaking like crazy. Direction, spread your feet. That's a cute shirt. What are you in here for? Prostitution. Prostitution? Why are you wet in front? Because I was at a wet t-shirt contest. You're at a wet t-shirt contest? Yes. Did you win? No, there was only me. <laughs> so you won? I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the entertainment. <laughs> all right, ma'am. Third row, all the way down the end. I need to sit right here while I have some more people coming in. So tell me what happened tonight. What happened tonight was um, I was at a bar that I frequent. A friend of mine was having his birthday party, and he planned a wet t-shirt contest. You know, he wanted to be a special party, whatever. Um, he got on the end of the bar, and he danced kind of like a stripper or whatever, and everybody was laughing and clapping and sticking money in his in his underwear or whatever, you know. He's a kind of fat guy, you know. So, kind so of it's looked, funny. It looked kind of funny, yeah. <laughs> so he threw water on me, and I threw water on him. And he felt really special about me doing that, so he gave me the tips that he made on the bar when he stripped naked, whatever, and he was broke. So I felt bad, you know. So I decided to go out on the street and walk to see if I could make some money. <laughs> and I did this a long time ago, you know, like five years ago. And it worked for me. And then I thought, well, watch this. I'll go out and make some money right now, <laughs> you know? And I thought I was going to make some money, but I got busted instead. <laughs> By the first person that stopped? Yes. <laughs> I only walked, like, maybe a half a block. <laughs> I, admit, I used to walk Boulder Highway to make quick money. Yes, I did, um, five years ago. And I got my regulars, and so I didn't need to do that no more, you know? And um, But tonight, I, I just... I felt a little spunky, and I did it again. And <laughs> well, you said it was because you were drinking, too, right? Yeah. And, and now they're probably sitting at the bar going, where did she go? She said she'd be right back. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Thanks got bailed out. We got sold out. Thanks got bailed out. We got sold out. Well, this guy's pretty vocal. Uh, you want know, to make sure they're not going to do anything to hurt themselves. Plus, sometimes come in and talk to them, get them to calm down. I don't know if it'll work on this guy, but uh, We'll see what we can do. Let's go, you okay? Yeah. Why don't you have a seat on the bench real quick and talk to me? Banks got bailed out. We got sold out, sir. I got gotcha. you. But uh, you understand that you're inside the jail, right? And nobody's hearing your message. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you understand that's like not normal behavior, correct? I, I have a I have a graduate degree from Harvard 
business. Okay, I, I understand that. So, but, I, I, but your behavior right is, now isn't appropriate for the my, situation. My behavior is quite normal. Okay, but do you sure. think you're helping that cause out right now? Yeah, I'm helping you out right now. Banks got bailed up. We got sold out. You understand that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, if you expecting different jail, results? Do you want to keep me in jail forever? Okay, no, I want to get you out of jail. Okay. I would like to have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would love to get out of jail tonight. As long as you're calm and cool for the 8 to 12 hours, you'll be out of here. How long do I have to be quiet? As long as it takes to get you out of custody. What does that mean by as long as... Okay, I told you the process. Okay, you're in here for a minor misdemeanor. You normally be out of here in 8 to 12 hours as long as you go along with the process. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay. Thank you. Somebody like that could function in normal society, acting like that. It's got to be the alcohol. It's got to be. Well, actually, he's not here for DUI alcohol, DUI drugs. Oh. So it may be something he's taking. I don't know if it's pills. I'm not sure what it is, but something he's taking is making him act this way. Um, looks like there's some alcohol mixed in there, too, by the redness of his face. So yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it calms down. Okay, we're gonna go check on Josh now. It's been about two to three hours. Hopefully he's calmed down. Josh, do you remember the situation when you were picked up today? Yeah, I do. Some ass picked up my bike and stole it. And I, I or so I thought. I thought some ass stole my bike. I'm sorry, everything else I said down in this town, somebody steals because this town's full of dudes. I raised my voice, that was it. Thanks you don't remember the baseball bat? Yes. Okay, crowd of 15 people calling Metro. They were laughing. They were laughing. I got up, my bike was going, they were laughing. Why did they bring you in here? Because I had warrants. You had a bunch of warrants. Now, I, I haven't even been able to see my daughter now for over a year. And now I'm probably going to go to prison before I even get released out of here now. Well, what are bench warrants for? I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed the court date for a scooter. This some <laughs> stole and loaned me. Isn't that nice of him? It was just a scooter. Some <laughs> stole the scooter and loaned it to me. Told me nothing about it. Maybe they won't be so fast to take you back. You know, time will tell. Time will tell. I'll talk to you in a bit. He's still pretty tense. He definitely shows the propensity to go off again. I'm going to check on his charges. We'll see where it goes from here. Things. So you were into prostitution five years ago. Yeah. You stopped for a while. You stopped for five years, yeah. and you got back into it. I haven't got back into it. I just went out tonight. I went out there thinking, oh, I'm going to make some money real fast. I'm going to go back to the bar and give it to my friend and, and have a good time. And, and I wasn't even thinking along the lines that it was illegal. Well, how That's much weird. money were you going to give your friend? Were you going to give him all the money you just worked for? I'll get yeah, it. of course. And I was you're just going to take one them. Person and well, how gonna... much were you expecting to get paid for one person? hundred. You would have taken $100 and then just given it to your buddy because it was yes, his birthday. I would have. So you, you're broke. And you wouldn't save any money for you. No. You're such a good friend. Here's a copy of your charge. This no. is prostitution. No big deal. All right, come on. All right, while we're in this room, you're going to go have a seat in the first row. If you need anything, you raise your hand, especially for like the phones that you need to use, OK? okay. She's been here for this before. And I don't think she's going to bail. She says she doesn't have any money. She'll get out in a couple of days, and she'll go back to her regular job, or she'll try this again. Come on over here, man. Stand right here, face that way. OK, it's pretty. <laughs> Everything sharp on you? No. What you crying about? <laughs> I this place. He said he was going to take me over to a candy bar. <laughs> Say what? Candy bar? What are you talking about? He said, they gave me a pay theft ticket, and I was supposed to go to court two days ago. And I was in Pahrump, and I couldn't take care of it. I came here today, and I paid a hotel, and they said, yeah, I had a warrant for a $2 candy bar that I never I told him I'd take care of it, and he said, I'm going to jail. All right. Mr. for a pay theft. I told him I'd pay for my parents to pay for it right now. <laughs> How come you, wouldn't, you waited too long to do it, man? Yeah, I could have made it to go as a perum. I never ride off a car. A candy bar, huh? I can't believe you took me there for $2. <laughs> I 
Nobody yeah. thinks you're a bad person. It happens. <laughs> I come all the court and they said I'd come to the window and it would make a different day when I got back here. Take off your sweatshirt and, and give it to me, me to please. jail. <laughs> Better feet. What's your first name? It's Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Okay. Yeah. All right, Jeffrey, just have a seat this first chair down this row, okay? <laughs> Jeffrey was at a hotel causing a disturbance for something that he owed for the room. The officer arrived, did a standard check on the subject uh, through our record system, found out that he had a warrant. And uh, according to Jeffrey, his warrant was for stealing a candy bar uh, a few, few months back. Two dollar candy bar, huh? Yeah, so it was all over a two dollar candy bar. Just took them yes. from there. Thanks. How come you took the candy bar in the first place? Um, why didn't you just pay for it? But I don't want to add money on me. Too. I don't know why a I ate candy it. bar? I ate it. I put the wrap in my hand and I was paying for the other stuff. I didn't pay for the candy bar that I ate. What is on your mouth? Well, I just had a candy. I don't know. Is it brown or is it white? Yeah. Candy bar? Huh? Candy bar? What kind? I don't know. The one officer gave me is a caramel candy. <laughs> oh, there's, there's... You like candy, huh? Yeah. You're a candy junkie. Yeah, most people come here for, you know... For a bigger size. You know, but drug addicts, but you're actually like a candy addict, aren't you, huh? <laughs> this well, thing now, look where I'm at. Oh, bro. Stupid <laughs> snicker. The next time you get a candy bar, you gotta pay for it, man. Okay, sometimes miracles happen. This guy's about to find out he's getting out of custody. He's not in nearly the trouble he thought. Hey, Josh, there's nothing, nothing about a stolen scooter. All you have is a single bench warrant driving on a suspended license. And because it's your first one, it's we're going to get you out of custody. It's just not coming up. That's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't exist. I had it run deep. It doesn't exist. I have nothing in All mind. right, nothing, nothing. You, my friend, an angel has shined on you today. What do you got to say about that? Huh? That angel's a hell of a hacker. Listen, you got to go to court on this tomorrow. You make sure you're there, all right? So the bad guys haven't turned out to be so bad today, huh? Maybe if you see me out on the street, you'll say, let's go have a beer instead, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, a cup of coffee. All right, well, this is nice to see tears from joy. You be with your daughter, and if you're not, it's your fault, not ours, all right? Stay positive now, okay? This is kind of a miracle, and for him, just maybe he found a reason to not hate police and to realize that there are some good things that can happen to you. So much for Josh. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's go this way, man. Stand right there, face that way. Come on up here. So you were the one that told the yeah. hotel staff to call the police, yeah. and you ended up going to jail, huh? Yeah. All right, just copy your charges. Go that way. <laughs> Step into the next room, OK? You know, you're here for uh, a bench warrant for petty larceny, but you're also here for uh, possession of a hypodermic device. So you got two charges. One's a bench warrant, one's a PC, OK? What's a PC? Probable cause. So something like a syringe or something like that you had on you. Oh. Guys, right, so just so we're clear, you're not getting your OR like you thought you were going to get, OK? Move up. Have a seat up there. Jeffrey here thought he was going to get an OR, and unfortunately, he's got another charge for our Possession of a syringe, so he's gonna have to stay in jail or otherwise pay his uh, $2,000 bail. You know, hopefully next time he'll think about it before he decides to uh, take a candy bar without paying for it. Looks like he's calmed down, so it looks like he's getting released. His bail was posted by someone apparently, so he's gonna get going home here. So we're gonna go talk to him, see how he's doing before he leaves. How was your experience in here? Well, I mean, I still have an axe to grind. Have you ever considered going into politics, anything uh, well, like that? I've never considered going into politics, but I have three, three degrees. I've retired at 50, and we can make a better society together. And I, I wanted to thank you guys uh, for the Metro PD. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Like we talked earlier, you know, it was yep. a mistake. It, it's yep. done. It's over. And yep. Hopefully, we won't see you back in here. Correct. That's right. <laughs> All right, come on down this way. We're going to get you out of here, OK? Yep. All right, this way, right here. 
We're gonna go down this way, get you through the rest of the process, okay? Yeah, he's definitely a different person than what he was before, but you know, he's still got some political issues and really hung up on what's going on. And hopefully you can get that figured out and not come back in here next time they have protests. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the street, another night in this hair. I've been kicking the trip and the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out. I've been working at San Diego Central Jail for about two years now. Prior to this, I got a bachelor's degree in psychology. Uh, having a degree in psychology, I found, actually helps out a lot working in the jail because there's a lot of different varying personality types. You know, you get guys coming in, some are hotheads, some are very calm. It just kind of helps to decipher, figure out what people are going to do or what they're not going to do and helps to kind of understand them. We put his cuffs underneath him. Uh, we got him for drunken public. He was at SeaWorld. They kicked him out. And then uh, when I go to handcuff him, he starts to fight. Yeah, hanging so, out, yeah. hanging out at the Anheuser Busch uh, beer, beer tasting garden. So we're charging him with drunken public and resisting arrest. Gotcha. So he's out now. Hey man. Hey. So, want to help me? All right. We're gonna bring him over to that bench right there. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix his cuffs over there. Well, you got yourself in a heck of a predicament here, trying to slide your cuffs. Why were you trying to slide your cuffs in front of you? Because I had to go pee. Because you had to go pee? Well, you're in the back of a patrol car. We're going to put you on the edge of this bench. You're going to lean forward onto your head, OK? No, no, no. On the bench. Come up to the bench. Put your knees on the bench. All right? No, no, no. Put your head on the bench. Slide down, to your, slide down this way a bit. All right. Slam down. Yeah. Intake to the processing sergeant. How much did you have to drink today? Dude, seriously, I haven't even had that much to drink. The problem is that somebody said, you're going to pee yourself in front of my kids. I said, no, I'm not going to do anything in front of you. OK, man, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to uncuff this hand. Do not yank it away from me, OK? Side count is clear on the first and second floor. Go and uncuff that one. Uh, he tried to slip his cuffs, and he couldn't no, no, no. walk. Me. That's why I was going to put him on the gurney so he can walk. Yeah. Are you going to go along with the program and walk? Yes. Okay. I seriously. Hand behind your back. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, easy, no. easy. I understand. I understand. Okay. I understand. Easy, easy. Just easy, count. easy. Please. Can okay. You please count? Here we go. Going to stand up, all right? One. Ah, come on. We do it on one here, not on three. Okay, go ahead and have a seat on the bench. You want to go grab his paperwork, sir? Go ahead and have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. You ever been in jail before? Yes? For what? And I was urinating on the side of the road. So you were urinating on the side of the road and P CHP pulled you over. That's what I mean. You noticing Come a Come on, I work for this Caltrans, dude. Hey. I pee on the side of the road for a living. Like, that's, that's only, that's, seriously. Like, Come on, that's the only bathroom we have. Well, you, so you, I'm sorry. You know, I realize, apologize. No, I told him I didn't argue with you. You don't realize that you've ended up in jail twice out. because of urinating in, in public. I didn't urinate tonight. You said you were urinating. That's what caused this whole thing to kick no, off. No, I it said, not? I said, I told him, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to urinate. And he said, you know what? Because I told him, I said, hey, listen, Ready? dude. Yeah. No, 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 what I'm saying. Yeah. Get you a photograph. So along with the process, I'm gonna get my cuff key there. All right. You're in there for drunk in public and resisting, correct? No, I got I got locked up for something that I shouldn't have got locked up before because somebody said something. Well, you appear to be drunk to me. How much did you drink today? You said not a lot. How much is not a lot? Dude, I had three drinks. Three drinks. How big were the drinks? They were exactly rum and cokes. And I had at least, you know, 
two shots apiece. So if you consider that, so we had six shots. Yeah, but that was over. That was over the course of two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And if, if you really consider that drunk, then fine. But you know what? The problem is that somebody said something that was unnecessary because he said I was too tall. Look, sit back, dude. Down. I'm six eight. Sit back, down. Bitch, sit, dude. Sit back down. He said I was sitting in front of a kid, dude. Hey, sit back down. That's the dude. The kid, the kid said I you couldn't ready? see daddy. Now he said I couldn't see daddy. I'm sorry. He said I couldn't see daddy. Hey, I'm sorry. You can actually stand up now for the photo. Yeah. You gonna take your picture, dude? Stand up, dude. It'll make it easier on you later Walk on. Over here, stand against the wall. Face the camera right there. Got it. Come on, man. Yeah. We're gonna put this guy up in a sobering cell so he can go to sleep, sleep it off. Think about what's bothering him. He's uh, pretty upset right now. See the big green door right here? Face it, all right? Outstanding. Lean up against the door just like that. Can you step your right foot out of your shoe? Yeah. Same with the other foot, please. You got mismatched socks, huh? Bet you have a pair just like that at home. It's, it's, it's supposed to be. Supposed to what? It's supposed to be good luck. All right, come on. Step on in the room. We're almost done, dude. All right, we need to go down to the front of your kneecaps now. Now down to your chest. We got you. Good. You're almost there. All right, when I uncuff your left hand, put it underneath your belly, all right? Now, same with your right hand, all right? Okay. All right, man, do not move until you hear that door close, okay? Well, apparently uh, he was out at a theme park, a local theme park here, and drank a little bit too much, attempted to urinate. Somebody called the police. Police showed up, started fighting with him. Gonna sober up six, eight hours or so. Hopefully, uh, he'll go out and go along with his business. Here in Portland, we get a wide variety of people. We get a lot of, I would say, mental health people here in Portland. And uh, it's funny, if you go around town, you can see those stickers that says, keep Portland weird. Well, Portland's pretty weird. Luckily for our training, it has uh, kept us on our toes and taught us how to uh, judge people as they come in. Yeah, after the years of uh, you know training and going through and having actual experience, uh, you get better and better uh, being equipped to do your job effectively. Hi, come on over here. What brings you here? Shotgun, hand grenade, bear maze. All right, relax there. You had weapons on you? Got anything sharp on you? Here's in my cigarettes, and I got money in my pocketbook. <laughs> what's, he, uh, what's his charge? Easy, boss. Hey, I'm just going yeah, through your pockets. You play your pocket pool with me. You been drinking tonight? <laughs> yeah. Where's my lawyer? What are my charges? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. Well, I want to find out, but these two find out what's in here. Is that your mushroom yeah. police Oh, uh, well, it's that's just that too. <laughs> How long ago did you take those mushrooms? I didn't need any mushrooms. Yet. You didn't? Damn. <laughs> All right. Nobody asked me any more questions. Where's my lawyer at? Get, Nobody asked me tomorrow. any more questions. Is it raining outside? I don't see a lawyer present. Hey, you want to be my lawyer, brother? All right, yeah, take I'll your jacket off for me, me, please. Oh. He had an AK-47, the airsoft rifle. OK. All. So we contacted him. He's pretty drunk. All. Oh, yeah, sorry. He had a hatchet, a hand grenade. Oh, so, so he was actually spray. real when he said that. He, yeah. he actually had those yeah, items. Yeah, he had okay. all those. All right, just relax no, I just paid for that. You, you know how much that property? cost me? I can tell you where I bought all that at. 
You're about to get thrifty with me. Hey, you got any jewelry on? Watches, rings, necklace, anything like that? Go ahead and put it right here. You're just happy today, aren't you? Did you just swallow that? Here's the earring. I've never seen that before. Keep your hands right here. Why don't you come on over here? We're gonna put you over here into the cell for a little bit until you uh, sober up a little bit. Let's go and have a seat. Seems to be a little too happy. Most people aren't this happy when they come in the jail. Um, you know, a couple of hours he'll be starting to sober up and hopefully have a different perspective on things. So we'll get to uh, the thing about him swallowing his earring in a little bit. So there's not much we can do right now. That's gonna hurt coming out. <laughs> okay, step up here. There, right here. sir. Down there. Anybody have anything sharp or dangerous on them? Drugs, needles? No, because no. I don't really have a problem with it. Okay, and uh, you're not suicidal or anything? No? We ask, we ask everybody. Yeah. And what country are you born in? Uh, USA. USA? All right. What are you I coming did, yeah. to jail for tonight? What's going on? And a DUI. Were you at a bar or something? You've been drinking a lot? No, I was drinking at home. And you're at home? I went to work and came back. Just going there and coming back, and uh, there was a guy going slower than the speed limit on the highway, mm -hmm. so I highlighted him. I knew I shouldn't have done that. But, oh, okay. So he got all pissed off. I just so, highlighted him rage. and went around him and forgot about him. He pulled around me and then stopped in the middle of the road. And then got out. And got out. Did you send for your stuff? And then threw open my door ripped off my glasses, and starts screaming about his wife and child. Okay, grab a paper towel and have a seat. So what happened when he went in your car? Well, once he ripped open my door and ripped off my glasses, I was stunned. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. I just sat there. I mean, he was looking at me like I threatened his whole family and didn't do anything to him. I mean, all I did was... Uh, so who called the cops? Did uh, he call well, the cops? Well, obviously or? he must have. I didn't really do anything. All I did was highlight him. So you're going to be careful next time you do that? Well, actually, yeah, don't even do it. Well, obviously I pissed yeah. him off because yeah. he was really pissed all the way down there. He must have thought I was following him or something. So uh, you're just here for the Dewey, or are you here for, like, reckless driving? or? It should be only Dewey. I didn't do anything else. My glasses are still there. Can't really see without him. <laughs> I mean, he, he ripped him right off my face and just threw him. I wasn't mad at all. Well, maybe not to you, but you know, it could have been offensive to him. You never know. Oh man, I was drinking and driving. Obviously, I drank too much, but well, you know what? At he least he overreacted for something I didn't really. No, well, you know it what? It wasn't offensive. At least, you know, it didn't escalate from there. Could have been worse. Oh, well, yeah. So. But. At least both of you guys will be going my, home tonight. I, I'm sure he wrecked my glasses. They're like 200 bucks. Yeah. I mean, he was more offensive than I was. So this individual was driving under the influence, had an altercation with another individual. Uh, the other individual went out of his vehicle, opened his car up, took his glasses from him, uh, so, uh, and also called the police. So now he's sitting here in jail. Um, he'll get processed. It's going to take about four hours to process him to get him released, and hopefully he'll get his glasses when he gets out of here. Clark County Detention Center here holds a large amount of inmates and it keeps us extremely busy 24-7 here. So here in control, they've got eyes and ears throughout every corner of the detention center. So 
These guys are extremely busy all the time, but you know they're watching out for us, and that's what makes me feel a little bit better knowing that they're here. Got my knee chains. Ma'am, can you face this way again? Spread your feet and put your hands behind your head. This officer's gonna assist with chains. Don't give her any problems. Were you with your mom tonight? What were you guys doing? Uh, shoplifting. Together? Do you guys usually shop up together? No, we do not. This time I did. This is what happened, huh? So you've yes. seen your mother do this your whole life? Is that what you're saying? Has she ever been caught before? Or was this the first time she was caught? Second time she's been caught before. No, third time. One time I was a little girl. Now how does that make you feel, though? Especially this time you're going in because of it. Um, I'm honored. I know that because I'm with her. Good point. Because she feels bad. And it's over now. How old is she? 48. Today's her birthday. Oh, that's what I heard. It was her birthday. Yeah, but this is a happy birthday for her. Seriously. I like your attitude. Thanks. Well, appreciate it. At least you, you mean you. Pamela. Go. Go have a seat. Come here, Pamela. It's your birthday, huh? Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's too bad you're here. Pamela, I have a question for you, a medical question. Are you, do you have to take any meds? <laughs> what kind of meds do you take? I take the latter. So are you taking pain medicine right now? What kind are you taking? I take the uh, morphine, I take uh, uh, Oxycontin, 15 milligrams, I take Percocet. But the nurse told you that you can't have it here, right? Yeah. So they're not going to give you anything like that? Yeah, I'm like, I have no idea how it is. I'm going to be here. Okay. All right. Um, as far as tonight, Attention and booking. How, does that, five. how does that make you feel as far as knowing that you can your daughter, though? Your daughter's never been to jail before. We're going to have to step up, so I do. I'll talk to you in a minute. Come on. Just already come back. She was trying to spit. Lillian called in a code five, combative. She wasn't cooperating on the uh, with the arresting officers on the trip in. They, she came in on the prisoner transport van, back there by herself. She, she was spitting and kicking and fighting on the way in. Tried to talk her out of the van. She's intoxicated. For her own protection and our safety, we strapped her in the code five chair. So she. Uh, let go. Let it go. I'm not going to take it. Pamela, you cannot do All that. I, I don't do. care. I already talked to you about medication. You cannot have it in here. Now, I was talking to you right there when all of this came in, and you told me do you I have anything else? take medication. Do you have anything else on you? Check out Ross. I told you. I went through everything. That's what she was doing in the restroom. There's I was more. not doing that Check in the restroom. I went to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Nice going, Pamela. Good job. Do we need to hold on to her? We can cuff her to the Let's put her on the edge. Let's put her on the edge. Pamela, you're very naughty, Pamela. Pamela, you're very naughty, Pamela. Do you want to grab a chain all the way to her? You could totally miscontrol her. Pamela, you're very naughty. 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 Pamela, you Two emergencies happening at once. Lillian, Lillian's flipping out in the chair, and Pamela's pulling drugs out of her bra. <laughs> We're trying to get Lillian screened by the nurse. Just, if we just get her calm enough to answer a few questions. You want it off? Well, I'll try again. I don't know. You're not going to cooperate. Do you want to try again? No, I am going to cooperate. You want to restrain me? Yeah, if you want to. No, this is me. Restraint. Pamela? When I was talking to you, I said you will not be able to have that medication here. And you said, yes, I you know. I understood that. Did I tell you not? I understood that. What are you going to do that? with it? Tell, tell me you didn't have any in your bra. Me. She I... told me she saw you do this. All right? And then why is it when I come up to you, you would not open your hand because you were hiding the medication? I did not. Pamela, you have a lying problem. Open. Come on. My hand. Hand. You have I said it from the front of the room. I watched her lift her shirt up and peel some off. Everybody saw you, but yeah, it's all us, not you, huh? Are you going to tell me you didn't have any medication in your bra? 
Oh, well, good question. Huh? I am not going to require because we should have to bronze hills fell on the floor. There you go. You know what? That's you why we don't leave, leave anything. Okay. This is what's okay. going to happen. We are going to perform yeah. a strip search. Can't see what's going on in there yet, but it, from what I can hear through the door, it sounds like they found more contraband on her. Honestly, think you're going to be able to get away with hiding the pills that we wouldn't find you out. You know, I understand you guys deal with a lot of stuff every day, but it was nowhere near what you think it is. Hold your elbow. Here you go. Come on. I want you to go to the back row, but you're not allowed to talk to your daughter, motion to your daughter, anything to your daughter. Morphine 60 milligrams and oxycodone 15 milligrams. These are both pretty strong pain medications. Morphine 60 milligrams is a really high dose. Ma'am, since you do not have a prescription with you, we are not charging you, please. Which means you're very lucky. Your you're very lucky. Because you do not have any prescription with you. I do, but it's in my car. You're not listening to It's her. not physically in this facility with you. What it matters if I got charged. I got a legal prescription oh, for her. Oh, my gosh, Pamela. Obviously, she's in denial and she's not going to accept the consequences for her decision. And it's, it's a sad situation. I just want to make sure you guys are okay, all right? Thanks. Um, Hopkins. Hopkins, is this, is this your first time in here? Yeah, totally. Okay, okay. When he fingerprints you, you'll get a copy of your charges and have your bail amount. Um, and once you get that, you'll know a little know a little bit more what you have to do to get out of here. Okay, if you're gonna okay. call a bail bondsman, mom, you all right? I'll come back and check on you in a few. If you've got questions, I'll see what I can do to Thank answer them. Thank okay? you uh, for being so nice to my mother. You're very welcome. I said she's been nice to me, and I'll be, you know, that's, I'll thank return you. it, okay? Thank you, sir. Ladies, thank you very much. I'll come talk to you in a bit. Make thank sure you're you. all right. She's just in denial. She doesn't understand that she did anything wrong. She's upset about things. She said it's her birthday, but it's just a mess anyway. Did you talk to her? Well, mom and daughter out there seem to be getting along okay. It's never good to spend your birthday in jail. I guess what I like most about this job is not only my coworkers, but the different array of people that come in the door on a daily basis. Everybody that comes in here has a different behavior, and the behaviors are challenging not only to me, but they're challenging to my staff members. These people are the people that normal people don't want to deal with. They're the people that we love to deal with. That's why we choose the job that we choose. Take your shoes off. Shoes. Take your shoes off right now. You know what? You need to calm down right now. You got it? Take his coat off. Hang on, Rick. What's his problem? He was going to release. So you were going to release? And you blew it. What's that about? Huh? You don't want to go home? Is that the deal? Yeah, I do. Then why did you do that? Because I thought I was going upstairs and you didn't call me. All you got to do in here is listen to what people say and behave and you get out of here. And you screwed that up. Now you're going to be here for a couple more hours because you screwed that up. You screw it up again, and I'll find a way for you to stay. You understand that? Thanks, Hicks. He's been sitting in the chairs for quite a while. He's on our release list, and he saw that last group of guys going to housing. All of them. And he thought they were getting out of here before him again. And, he's and then that's when we locked him up against the wall so we wouldn't hurt anybody. All right. He just prolonged his visit. He's going to be here for a couple more hours. Yep. Your head there, Ron. I heard about you. Are you the Corvette speeder? What'd you do? In a pursuit. In a Corvette? Yeah. yeah. Is it total? Yeah. Wow. Why don't you put these down? <laughs> Wait, can you take that off? Yes, sir. Hey, that's a Rolex. Be easy on that, would you? I won't even touch it. Just slide it over to him. He was in a 
his little red Corvette, brand new 2007 red Corvette, eluding the police department for about 15 minutes. He finally ended up crashing and totaling that 2007 Corvette. So not only is he going to have the fines from the Dewey, he's going to have to replace his entire car. So who knows, he might have to hawk that Rolex he just put on the counter to pay for that car he just totaled. And hopefully he didn't kill anybody tonight. Hey, William, did you kill anybody tonight? No, because I stopped in the intersections on running red. I didn't run red lights. Okay. Running place. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need help. Go get help. I got to make the money to keep my big thing going on so I don't have time to go to rehab. Well, you got to figure it out. I know, I know. I, you, know you know, I know. You're going to run out of cars pretty soon. No, i kill somebody like the lady said. Yeah, and then you won't leave. No. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. I mean, you may have totaled a car, but you could have totaled a person. I understand. I didn't talk to every light. I did. I wasn't going like those crazy bastards in California. On the I stopped at lights. I did. They were way back. You guys were right back behind me, so I could stop at the lights. It's not fun, but I did. I wasn't going to blow their light 80 miles down and T-bone some poor family and kill them. Wipe your hand off. Go have a seat by your coat or sweatshirt. You guys it. here in Multnomah right County are very nice gentlemen and ladies. Well, thank you for coming. I don't want to come back. Okay, have a seat. Gentlemen. The officer said that your car is done. It's totaled. Brand new 2007 total. Do you have kids? I got a Corvette and a Fantasy. Had a Corvette. Had a Corvette. I'll get another one. Don't you worry about it. Oh, uh, I'm just a <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. You need to make some changes. What am I going to do, though? What the hell? Go out and do it again and kill somebody next time? Put your feet down, please. I, I might. It might happen. I don't know. I it can't. might happen, so you're saying that you're okay with going out and drinking and driving again? No, I don't drink. possibly kill some wife No, hell no. Hell no. I okay. don't never want to do that. Then don't drink and drive. You think I'd get off on all that junk if I went to treatment? I bet. Probably not. Not all of it. Some of it, though. It'd be the best for everybody, though. Best interest for everybody. How about just you? And me. But the society. Society. I'm about done listening to your problems, OK? So do me a favor and just sit there and be quiet right now. Absolutely, All right? Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry. He's going to go to court in about 30 days. He's going to get an expensive attorney and probably fight the charges. And uh, it'll be up to a jury or a judge to determine what's going to happen to him in the end. I've been here approximately 10 years at the Orange County Jail. On a daily basis, you're dealing with hundreds of people not knowing what they're here for. One minute you could be dealing with someone who's just in here for DUI. They just want to go home back to their family, whatever. The next person you deal with is someone that just killed someone out on the street corner. You don't know what to expect. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, sir? What do you guys get? Nathan, come on out of the car. So what's going on, Nathan? Come on over here, Jason. Hey, you want to get phone calls, Nathan? Here, here, two, you're zero, off the wall, five, and you're five, off the balls, two, castrating five, yourself, five, masturbating five, with hating. Yo, my name's Nathan. You're a rapper, Nathan? What would it matter? You got the rhymes going on? Me, I'm a relative of you. We're all brothers in this earth. But what is the earth? It's part of the universe, and it's all given birth by the Big Bang. Boom! Oh, look, he's laughing. So you, he's in for vandalism? Yeah, he uh, basically vandalized his mother's uh, screen door. Absolutely not. Stop lying. Initially what did she call for? Initially, he was on the roof threatening to ride his bicycle into the pool. So, how would, I, how would I ride my bicycle from the roof to the pool? Hey, it's been done before. By who? Evil Knievel? He responded a lot of times to his residence. Uh, Tonight or? Well, within the last two weeks. Okay. He's, he's, he's so been up on the roof. Why is it that your mom called? He, she wanted me to get off the roof. His mom, she's 20 years old. His mom doesn't want him right there anymore. She's 20 years old? You're 20 years old. Your mom doesn't want you in the house anymore. I was, I'm but not in the house. keep coming I back. I wasn't in the house. No, but you're at the house. I tried to force her to do a restraining order, didn't you? 
Why didn't she do the restraining order, officer? Why she keep calling us about you? Because you keep coming. You said that no. I called. So oh. stop coming. All right, this way. Use your inside voice. No, First Amendment. No, you be quiet. No, no. First Amendment. You can be quiet. You be quiet. You have a seat for me. Take your shoes off. If you don't pay attention. Logic and psychology. I was tutoring. Take your shoes mom, off. I am. I can walk and take off my shoes at the same time. Hand me your shoe. My mom called the police. I got fired from my job because my mom put me in a mental hospital. My mom got me fired and I ended up on the streets. I got suspended by a criminal justice professor when I was homeless and I wanted to sit in on the class and learn. Nathan, stand up, follow the blue line. <sighs> stay, 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 line. stay right on the line, okay? okay? I have to shuffle and not lift my feet up. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, stand on this blue X right here. Face the machine. This is kind of cool. It's going to blow your mind. I'm autistic. Are you? Yes. So what's going on with the situation at home? There's got to be a reason why she won't let you stay at home. My mom's scared of something. What do you think she's scared of? Everything. Including you? No. Everything but me, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. But, okay, she's not letting you stay there because, she, because she's scared, but she's not scared of you. Yeah. I think I'd be scared of you and be fine with everything else. Well, that's what you're trained to do. Be scared of the criminals. Walk this way. She's doing experiments with me. Experiments with you. How? Open you're up. hurting this hand. You're hurting my right hand. Open How up. am I hurting your hand? With Open. your other hand. All right, Nathan, have a seat. We'll be back with you in a little bit. Uh, seems like he uh, vandalized his mother's front door. She also has a restraining order on him. He uh, appears to be a little on the mental side, and uh, he will be seen, I'm sure, momentarily by our mental staff, and further evaluations will be done at that time. You ready to interview him? Yes. All right. Nathan, right? Move your shoe. All right, just have a seat there. Nathan, my name is Susan. I'm with Mental Health. Hi. Uh, so why are you here? My mom called. Your mom called. What was the reason? She called because I was on this, I was on the roof of our carport on top of the ladder. Okay. So do you ever hear voices that other people don't hear? All the time. All the time. So what are the voices saying to you? Let my people go. Are they singing to you? Yeah, I'm singing to myself. I'm not schizophrenic. I just sing to myself. Okay. So did they diagnose you with schizophrenia? Never. No? Okay. So where are you living now? I'm homeless. Okay. Thanks. Since he's homeless, has no place to go, and obviously isn't doing too well on the street, I'll send him over to EGS. Okay, sounds good. So that, you know, at least we know that he's going to be safe for the rest of the night. Our mental health uh, has called for uh, ambulance to transport Nathan here to uh, uh, ETS, which is a mental health hospital, where he'll be evaluated for a 72-hour period. Hey, Nathan, step on out. You don't need to put me in restraints. Right Let's see. They can tell you I haven't been violent or physically. Oh, look, restraints. No, these are just, just company policy. Belts. They're just seatbelts. You're going to ETS, which is a psychiatric hospital, and they'll evaluate you over there. You're a doctor, there. right? No, I'm a nurse. Oh, I love nurses. I love doctors. I like, I like, I really do love everyone. But I'm not crazy. All right, we're gonna get you out of here. Jail in Hillsborough County, Tampa, Florida. Here is Central Booking. It's an open setting where all males and females gather together at one point and they go from place to place like intake, they go to property, they go to fingerprints and medical. 
Everybody's given a chance to act like human beings when they come in here, regardless of what they've done on the outside. I like to call that a self-fulfilling prophecy. They're given a chance to be together with everybody else to get to this process. If you show a problem that you're not able to do what you're supposed to do and you can't function with everybody else, you end up in one of the holding cells for a little while. Last year we booked about 202 people a day and only one time we had to use a restraint chair on those folks, which shows that the self-fulfilling prophecy works and that's what direct supervision is successful in this jail. We're going out in the salad port. We have a, um, a female that's spitting as she's being transported. So we're going to go out and put a spit mask on her face to make sure that she doesn't spit on anybody. Hmm? This little one right here. Which one? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on out. Hmm? Uh, no, no, don't you stop that. No, no. Hey, you're not going to suffocate me. Nobody's not suffocating me. Yes, you are. He's trying to suffocate me. No, you're not. This goes hey. on your head. I, I'm not resisting anything. It ain't about you resisting. You're spitting, and this goes no, on your not, head. I'm not spitting anything, man. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Let, let, let your hands go. You're let not going to suffocate me. You're let not going to suffocate me. Hey, you're going to suffocate me. Let go. It's not going to kill me. Well, nobody's gonna kill you. Yes, That's to keep you from spitting. I'm not spitting anything. Get up. I'm not spitting anything. Hey, I didn't spit anything, man. Let me go. No. What's wrong with y'all? I'm sorry. I hope y'all are getting funny. No, I haven't done anything to you. Neil, none of y'all. And I hope you don't see Neil down. Neil. Neil. All the way down. Whatever you want. Neil. Oh, wow. Well. When we take the, the leg guards off of you, you lay you keep your feet down, do not move them, understand? Yes. It hurts, but you know what? I'm tough. That's all right. This is my first arrest, baby. This is my first, you know, thinking it over. This is the important part. Do not bang on this glass, do not bang on the door, do not holler for us. Yeah. Listen to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going to stand here until you calm down. So she'll sit in a holding cell until she calmed down, then we'll take her out and see if she can make it through the rest of the process. Yeah. We're going to want her to talk to her and see how she, uh, see if she's calmed down any. We get all kinds in here, and we never know from one person to the next who's on what type of medication, right. what type of medical conditions they have. We have to be ready, and we have to know about everything. I already got a damn heart condition. Yeah, well, don't thin up on me, and that won't happen. You understand that? Yeah, I got you. Okay, take your shoes off. Just step out of it. Man, this is Yeah, bad. step in there and shut your mouth. <laughs> he, she's trying to process him. He doesn't want to take. He's giving her mouth, giving her lip. You don't have to use that tone with me. I don't fly here. You don't tell people here what to do.
now, inmate's been in the holding cell now for a couple of hours. We'll go ahead and let her out and uh, try to get her through the process. The majority of the time, they're fine. They calm down, they start to sober up. All right, Miss Kimberly, I'm gonna have you sit in these chairs. I'm gonna let them know you're out of the holding cell so you can get through this process and get out of here. She was able to come down for us. She, uh, she was polite and calm. We went to talk to her, so we let her out. She did good. Let's talk. We're chit-chatting with him. Oh, we're chit-chatting? We're just in case. At one point out of the blue, he just started banging on the glass pretty aggressively. So got our attention pretty quickly. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit You guys need to give me my medicine or I'm a freak out. I take an antipsychotic for a reason. I have bipolar and I have OCD. I need my Seroquel. My Seroquel is what keeps me calm. I'm not trying to be a I know you guys think I'm trying to be a I just need my medicine. It's time for my medicine. I'm gonna take you out of here. I'm gonna take you over to the nurse and have them screen you. Okay, I'm saying you need medication, we're gonna, we're gonna try to help you out. Okay. But, That's all I'm asking. Okay. But you got to understand that you can't be acting out like that. That's why you got in here in the first place. That's also why I take medication. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt that if he is on these meds and he needs these meds, let's get him medically screened and find out what's going on with it. It looked like he was going to have to get hands on with this guy and put him in the chair, but all he was just he needed medication. And once he came to medical and talked to medical personnel, he got all better quick. And the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the roof.